What is up my peeps? Today we are going to talk about doing lining and lettering using a Pigma Micron pen. It is known as an archival ink pen. The uh, size that you might end up using the most, especially uh, in way of 28 to 30, uh, 32 millimeter scale figures, would probably be a 005. 005 is an extra fine tip mocha, like even more, even more of a fine tip than your average fine tip shoppy, if that makes sense. So, what we're going to experiment on today is doing it on a purity seal because uh, so a lot of people were asking me about how I did the lettering and little scribbles on the purity seals and this is how I did it was using a micron pen. Um, and it's actually a lot faster and a lot easier than using a fine tip uh, or fine detail brush and using paint because there's also that whole risk of too much paint getting on the brush and then you know getting onto uh, the ribbon or you know whatever it is you're trying to do lettering on. So to give you an example of, of what you can use it for Here's a uh, lettering that I did on this Space Marines uh, Terminator. It says on there Zun Shi, which is, uh, I believe it's supposed to be Chinese for a fighter or warrior. Another thing you can use it for is if, say, you're doing a decal and it has black ink, um, or, you know, if it has black lettering or what have you, and if, say, when it printed out it had some missing spots, or if you just wanted to fix it up a little more to make it mo look more like actual writing was done on a shoulder or something that's what I did on there was I kinda added to it to give it like a little bit of I just didn't want it to look perfect so that's another thing that you can use a micron pen for you can use it for actual lining up oh, man down here's an example of a finished product uh, for a purity seal what it would look like uh, I used for a base color I used the game color in bone white for the red, I used Reaper's Big Top Red, which is a limited edition color for, uh, I believe, for one of the Reaper cons. But you can also use GW Blood Red, and it's it's pretty much the same color, and that's fine to use too. At the end, I put Agrax Earthshade over it to give that aged look. So that's how we did that, and that's basically the finished product of what you could do. So I am going to give you a demonstration of using the Micron Pen on a pur on a purity seal. I can't talk today. I didn't finish my coffee, so forgive me. So, you can use a handy dandy GW figure holder. You know what? Why don't we do that today? Because that just sounds fun. And I'm trying to do it with a camera in my way. There we go. All right. So, we used a handy dandy um, Citadel holder. If you don't have them, they're like eight bucks and they're totally worth it. So, Basically, you just want to do some scribbles. You don't have to do, uh, they don't have to be even, it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to do a certain amount of scribbling on each line, because then it doesn't make it as realistic. So don't worry about little things like that, okay? Just have fun with it. And so basically, you just take the Micron pen and just scribble, scribble, you know, wherever, just as long as there's like a line by line going on. And you can even put some dots or, you know, whatever. Now, if you have more space to work with, then of course you could start trying to do things like if you're, if you're pretty good at drawing, you could start drawing symbols and, and things like that. And see, easy peasy. It only took a few seconds. And, you know, these are tabletops, so you just want them to get them uh, on the table. You just want it to look good enough that it can just get on the table. And as long as you accomplish that, you're good. So, like I said, I used a bone white, or in your, your case, whatever brand of paint you have, you can use some kind of an off-white, or like a, a cream color. Probably cream color is the preferable way to go, so that way you can fully get that age effect when you put the Agrax Earth shade over it. And then you can use a GW Blood Red, or the, you know, like I have the Reaper Big Top Red, and, you know, just whatever's a bright red used there when you're doing it tabletop. And then just go over with some Agrax Earth shade, and then you got the whole aged look there minus the little dust hair there there you go and that's pretty much that's how you use the micron pen seriously it's just honestly not even joking it's that easy and why why do you guys keep killing each other I don't understand so um so yeah and with the now with the lettering you need to have a steady hand just so you know um, I, I did have to go over it a couple of times uh, for a couple of the termies this wasn't one of them but if you end up when you do the lettering it doesn't come out exactly the way you want it just go over it with the base color again uh, you might have to go a couple of layers because of the fact that's a black ink let it dry and then just go over with the lettering again and then you're just fine so yeah 
So, yeah, be sure to follow us on the web, www.metalheadminis.com. Don't forget to, to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. Uh, if you have questions, be sure to uh, put them in the comments below, or you can email us at mhmpropainting at gmail.com. And you guys have yourselves a good day.